Hey guys, welcome back to Kev's Doodle Magic. So you can see me here filling up a small spray bottle, it's a, like an aerosol bottle that I got from, well I don't actually know where we got them from, but we had them lying around the house. You can get them in chemists and things and supermarkets for perfumes and I don't know, olive oil and things like that I think, and you know, uh, just water in general. Anyway, I got this idea to fill it up with some India ink and to start with, I filled it with India ink and water to get like a faint light grey shade which is sprayed all over the majority of the paper and then for the darker area it was just pure India ink that I sprayed once the first coat had dried and then there was a few puddles that formed because I didn't tape the paper down it started to like buckle and get these little divots in it they were quite annoying but um, I got um, in the end they worked to my fortune because I just spread them out with a paintbrush and kind of that eventually made like an explosion um, shape which I wasn't going for but then that was the whole point of this picture was to just spray the bottle and let that dictate what the picture turned out to be because not actually of anything in particular so I would recommend this for anyone who's got some sort of artist block or can't who wants to draw and can't think of anything to draw because sometimes that's half the battle you can just stand there looking at your piece, piece of paper wanting to draw something really cool but you can't think of it or you don't want to spend too much time thinking about what it'll draw because nine times out of ten it'll never turn out well for me anyway it never turns out how I want it to look anyway so I had a lot of fun with this idea so I'm definitely going to do it again maybe next time tape down the paper and uh, also maybe I'll um, leave some like I don't know coins or some stencils or something on the paper and just see what kind of shapes and marks to get left and then try and incorporate that into a picture again Maybe spray from a different angle, I don't know, or even use different colours in the spray bottle. Some uh, acrylic paints maybe and some water mixed together. Or I've actually got some black paper, so maybe do the reverse. You could do like white chalk pens, gel pens and on black paper and some white acrylic paint. Or if Sharpie make a white pen, or there's a white marker pen you can buy, maybe just try the same in reverse. So I had uh, a lot of fun with this one. And it kind of took a lot of the uh, effort out of the shading for me. It was, it was already done for me. Although at the end I do go in with a finer pen. And um, just add a lot of finer details in the really dark areas. I just added a bit more texture which you can't you can't really see. But just knowing it's there. I think it does make all the difference. And uh, right at the end after I drew this uh, horizon line. You can see here I'm drawing like tyre tracks or something. It kind of looks like a vehicle's crashed or some sort of spaceship's come down fast and landed in the desert because a desert scene started to appear and um, yeah I'm really happy with how it turned out I do wish I could have put like a sun or something in the background which is why I wish I'd maybe left a stencil down before I'd spray but I can try that next time anyway guys thanks for watching I uh, hope you enjoyed it bye